What comes to mind when you think of Portland? Definitely not this. The Gun and Knife Show here at the Portland Expo Center, which is exactly where we're filming from today. You can see around, there's many, many trucks and many, many guys who probably wouldn't talk to us on the streets, but that's exactly why we're here, to get the inside scoop. Now, we have a few questions. First, will they let us in? Uh, when a slightly deranged, gougy looking homeless man comes around, they might not want them poking around at these guns. Two, if they do, what are these people who most likely are in the outcasts of society for talking about their love weaponry in this town, uh, what do they get out of it? Do they like owning us or do they like just going about their merry way? Um, so we have a lot of questions and we're very excited to go into the heart of the lion uh, or any other place, any other metaphor that you guys would be afraid to go. We're going there, we're gonna ask, we're talking to people, see you inside. And we were rejected. So that's that. Uh, yeah, I guess they just, you know, they've been burned by the liberal media one too many times here at the Gun and Knife Show, so they decided no cameras allowed. Uh, it seemed like it would have been interesting. A lot of families rolling in. We saw a mom in a camo top with their little baby. Uh, honestly, a lot of people in there, hard to tell though because of all the camo. Um, you know, people blending in with their environment. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Really, we got to observe it for about five seconds, and it looked like it would have been a fucking rip roar good time. But, uh, you know, I guess we'll go somewhere else to bring you more Jake on the Streets. Bye bye. Well, here we are at the Portland Saturday Market. We are talking about rejection and what better place to do it than where a bunch of artists have gathered to see if they can hawk their wares to the unsuspecting public. We ourselves were just rejected from filming inside the Gun and Knife show, so we're already stinging with some wounds, so we want to talk to some fellow veterans of the rejection game. Uh, as comedians, we know all too well the harsh reality of rejection. Uh, my new uh, pedophilia bit was harshly rejected last night, and uh, we want to talk to some other people who might have a little inside scoop on what it feels like to have your heart and soul pushed down your throat and told you, hey, you're not worth anything. Let's go inside. Have you experienced any type of rejection? That's like a big thing in the creative community. It's been a su success. It's just been... Yeah. Everything I've ever made has sold. So. Man, what is that like? I have never experienced that. My goodness. So you're out with the ladies, you're out with the art, and you're out with the music right now. You're on the, you're on the, you're on the down part of a wave, but you know what that means, baby. There's an upcoming means it's I'm probably gonna go down a little more what's the worst type of rejection you've ever received uh, one time I got dumped and uh, he like got all of his friends to like surround me and he like dumped me in the middle of a circle and that was that was pretty rough rejection. wait what he got all his homeboys to circle you and then he dumped you it was like a, was like a show and like why would he do that because kids are terrible. I don't know. Like, I was wearing a back brace at the time, too. So, like, he legit told me, like, like I just wanted to date the plastic girl is all. And I was like, cool, cool. What? <laughs> you know what happened to him? Uh, he got really fat. He got really fat. And I don't know if we're allowed to say that anymore either. But fuck this guy, all right? I think he had a kid, too. So, joke's on him. You're fat and you have a kid, you piece of shit. She's got two dogs. So, who won? Well, that was an amazing story. I always try out my Jewish shtick on accident on someone that's Jewish that I didn't realize was Jewish. And one of the other vendor guys, he was like, oh, I thought you were Jewish. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not. And he was like, oh, because of your nose. And I was like, oh, no, it's Native American, you fucking racist Jew. <laughs> Damn, okay. Well, there's a lot to unpack there. I'll grant you honorary membership into the tribe today if you want to be a Jew for the day. Happy happy Hanukkah coming up in a few months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 12 days, right? Eight, but you're close. We had a wild day, okay? I think we learned a little bit about adaptation, actually. We went in for looking for rejection stories. We got adaptation, okay? We tried to get you into the gun and knife show, but for people who are absolutely obsessed with their own freedom, not really big on sharing it with the press. So 
couldn't get you in to show you the stab stab and the shoot shoot, but we came down here to uh, to talk to some artists, you know, and they know a thing or two about rejection, or so we thought. Actually, it seems like the Saturday market people are doing quite well for themselves. Uh, they don't seem to be having the brutal rejection that is uh, the art of stand-up comedy, where people don't like your jokes and you literally want to hang yourself from the rafters after the show. So, uh, you know, we're living a little different path, you know, than these nice booth people, but they're selling their wares and they're doing their thing. Got a beautiful caricature that I can remember this show by. I can remember my time in Portland when I move on to the great city of New York and live in a sewer. And uh, that's it. That's what it is. You know, we're happy to be here with you guys and we hope you got something, no matter what it is, laughter, cries, boredom. The important thing is that you spent three to five minutes watching another video that probably didn't even enhance your life, okay? But death is just around the corner, and if you can watch more and more videos, you know, you won't think about it so much. So, we'll see you again next month. We love you. We can do some shtick together sometimes. Hey, we can do some shtick together. That's what the Jews are all about, the shtick.